Hey everyone, Josh Merhar here, and today I'm going to show you an exercise you can use to improve your mobility around the drums. Practicing this exercise will help build your confidence to fly around the drums while still getting the best possible sounds out of your kit, and it'll also help you explore new paths around your setup. The concept is pretty simple. We'll start by defining a home base, and we'll always move away from the home base and then right back to the home base, then to the next thing, back to the home base, to the next thing, back to the home base, and so on. By doing so, we end up playing all possible combinations of movement between the drums and whatever else you rope into this exercise. This exercise can adapt to any drum set configuration, so whether you play on a four-piece kit or a 30-piece kit, it all works just the same. To start, we'll say the snare drum is our home base. So we'll go from the snare to the small tom, to the snare to the mid tom, to the snare to the floor tom, to the snare to the ride cymbal, to the snare, and finally to the hi-hats. Using only single strokes, I'll play four strokes on each drum before switching to the next sound. Altogether, the entire sequence sounds like this. So there are a couple things to really pay attention to when practicing this exercise. First, you wanna always aim for the dead center of each drum to get the cleanest sound. Some of the leaps from one drum to the next are pretty tricky and require you to quickly snap to where you're headed, but you should always prioritize accuracy and tone over speed, even if that means starting really slow. Next, really try to prevent yourself from twisting your upper body as you move around the drums. Keep your chest facing out over the snare and have your arms move across the front of your body instead. I used to find myself constantly overshooting my target when I was trying to play faster around the drums and it's because I was twisting at my hips. So I was always hitting off center and it just made everything sound kind of sloppy. So after you practice this exercise with the snare drum as your home base, it's time to move your home base to the next drum. So now we'll move away from and back to the small rack tom. So we'll have small tom to snare, small tom to mid tom, small tom to floor tom, small tom to ride cymbal, and small tom to hi-hats. Repeat that sequence a couple times and then move your home base to the next drum. And keep repeating that process until everything's been used as a home base. To demonstrate, I'll start with the small tom as home base. I'll play through the sequence twice before moving to the next home base, and I'll continue until I get back to the snare as home base. After you've practiced each sequence using four strokes on each sound, play them all again, but use only three strokes on each sound. Again, use only single strokes, so now your left hand will lead when moving away from your home base. With three strokes on everything, the entire sequence sounds like this.
After practicing the exercise with three strokes on each sound, try playing it with only two strokes on each sound. So this is constant movement from one sound to the next. I find this quite challenging to play at higher speeds. It's definitely something I'm still working on. But altogether, with two strokes on everything, the entire exercise sounds like this. From there, in very tiny increments, try to increase the speed at which you can play these sequences. But never sacrifice accuracy or tone for the sake of speed. I cannot stress that point enough. There aren't any shortcuts to playing fast and clean around the drums. It just takes practice. If you like what you saw in this video, check out my Patreon page. Your support grants you access to transcriptions for this video, as well as transcriptions for all my other lesson videos. And follow me on Instagram, at drummerhar, to see more videos of my playing. As always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.